Well, obviously, it's already been a very busy news week. I have a couple of more stories to go over here today, including Carson Hosevar gets handed a penalty from NASCAR after his incident with Harrison Burton at Nashville, and also one from a couple of days ago, an iconic sponsor in the history of NASCAR leaving an iconic race team, effective immediately. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about Hooters leaving Hendrick Motorsports and do you think Carson Hosevar's penalty is fair and how do you also assess the career? Of Carson Hosevar so far. Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. Yeah, very, very busy news week. So much, so many stories to go over here early on in the week as we have silly season developing, a lot of plans coming out from next year, a lot of crazy stuff going on. But there is something that's happening right here and right now, and it's very and it's a very iconic sponsor that is leaving an iconic race team, that being Hooters, leaving Hendrick Motorsports effective immediately. Hooters were unable to meet their requirements and their duties as a sponsor of Hendrick Motorsports. Essentially, they didn't have the money to pay for their races on their cars anymore. Sounds like behind the scenes, they tried to maybe figure something out, but ultimately, they decided to go their separate ways Hooters is kind of struggling as a company right now, and that's probably why this happened. Very unfortunate, a big-time sponsor like Hooters that has been around in NASCAR for such a long time. And earlier this year, they were able to end that Hooters curse, that some people called it. The Hooters curse, where no one has won in a Hooters car in the Cup Series since Alan Kowicki won at Pocono in 1992 no one has won a, in a hooters car since well earlier this year chase elliott was able to win in a hooters car and his winless streak and that drought it's very unfortunate to see hooters leaving chase elliott and hendrick motorsports not sure what the future is for the company as a whole and honestly it looks like they probably won't come back to nascar because they just can't afford it but maybe in the future they can make a comeback that'd be pretty cool to see it's a very iconic brand especially with nascar so i, I would love to see them come back but it, it looks pretty doubtful to me and we have to remember the memories of all these nice hooters cars and some great drivers that we've had behind the wheel of some of these great hooters cars and then the fact that elliot was able to end the drought this year that was really cool to see and the big news for today was that Carson Hosevar did indeed get handed down a penalty from NASCAR after intentionally wrecking Harrison Burton under caution at Nashville Super Speedway. The penalty that Carson Hosevar ended up getting from this was 25 points and $50,000 fined. I'm iffy about this punishment that he's gotten because... For the crime, I think it is a fair punishment, a fair penalty from NASCAR. But I'm a huge fan of Carson Hosevar, but his history says a lot. I feel like maybe it should have been a little bit more of a fine, maybe more points, one of the two, maybe if not both. Because Hosevar just has a history of doing stuff like this. He even was trying to intimidate Todd Gilliland under caution, which... That happens a lot. It's not really that big of a deal. But just two instances that we're, we're, we're within laps of each other. And Carson Hosevar has had incidents like this before many times. Intentionally wrecking people. Bringing out cautions intentionally. 
and he, he has a lot of talent. I don't think he really needs to be doing that, and it, it's unfortunate to see, and hopefully this time he learns his lesson, and he's probably gotten a stern talking to by a couple people, whether they're higher-ups at NASCAR or people over at Spire, or maybe even some older drivers in the field, because I, I feel that's how it used to happen back in the day. A lot of drivers, when they would act like this, one of the big guys in the garage, one of the well-known guys in the garage would pretty much get in their face and and they you wouldn't you wouldn't see them do you wouldn't see them drive like that again and i haven't seen any i haven't heard of anybody doing that or being that sort of figure in the garage back in the day you had jeff burton you had dale earnhardt you had terry labani a lot of these drivers that would set the younger drivers straight whether it's with their words or with actual actions on the track. And I think someone just needs to send a message to Carson Hosevar. But we'll have to see. He's a, like I say, he's a very talented race car driver. Has all the potential in the world. I'd say he is the best driver over at Spire Motorsports right now. But he needs to really clean up his act when it comes to this sort of stuff. But give me all your thoughts down below. Do you think Carson Hosevar's penalty is fair? And what do you think his future will be? Plus, are you going to miss Hooters? And do you expect maybe Hooters to make a return to NASCAR at some point? I personally look at it as doubtful, but we'll have to see. It's an iconic brand. It's it's going to be weird not seeing them on a car possibly ever again. But that'll do it for me. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace. <laughs>